next item we have, which is added to the amended agenda, is a relative to compensation for business use of private motor vehicles by certain county officials. Uh, this, of course, has evolved for a number of reasons, and I think we had a very explanatory board letter on this, as well as a presentation back during the budget process uh, the last meeting held at IRRB. <coughs> address the concerns of uh, county officials uh, for a lot of reimbursement of business use of personal vehicles at a more accurate rate than currently established by the IRS standard mileage rate. And uh, I guess I will move it for discussion. Is there support? Did you, did you want to explain it just a little better? I'm not sure where we're going here. Yeah, because I'm, uh, I remember I didn't attend that board meeting. I'm, I'm reading the packet, I read the packet, and I'm not sure what you want to do here. Well, I guess I want to introduce it for discussion. I, I'm not sure this is the answer or that we are going to actually adopt this, but I would just move it to get it on the floor and uh, see where it goes. I'll support it for discussion. Like we, need, we need to get it on the floor to talk and about And I guess I would ask uh, Deputy Eckenberg or Attorney Ford to address what has emerged as some concern. It's well intended, but we have to speak. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner Rocker. I do have concerns as well. Um, <coughs> said, I think in response to the county board workshop, uh, Administrator Fry asked me to research the issue of whether or not the county board could receive um, a um, standard reimbursement for mileage and a car allowance for vehicles. And I replied to him that the statute does not allow that um, for governing body officials, such as yourselves, um, it's one or the other. The commissioner, um, I mean, Administrator Fry then put together a, a memo um, asking for my input, and I, um, which was, is pretty close to the memo that you have there. Um, and I again reiterated to Commissioner, uh, to, sorry, to Administrator Fry that, um, that I believe you couldn't do it. Now, uh, what what you have before you now is basically um, what uh, Administrator Fry explained to me. Um, perhaps a resolution that you're not giving. Um, a, a separate automobile allowance, you're raising uh, the salaries that you are paying yourself, which you certainly are in your right to do. Um, he, he estimated um, through calculations of actual usage, which I think you have there, um, the cost um, of the um, actual use of vehicles <coughs> determined that you could raise, the proposed that you raise your salaries by, by that amount. Um, for, in my opinion, it's just um, a way of getting around the statute that says you can't get both. And um, so it would be my advice not to, um, not to pursue this and not to accept the resolution because it could be challenged on the basis that hey, you're, you're basically tying a salary raise to a specific thing and that is getting reimbursed for use of vehicles, which is not, again, uh, not allowed to, to have both. Okay. Yes? I do. Copy the statute last night and sent it around for what you're referring to. Okay. For which you may. I didn't have to have my opinion. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I didn't know what it says. It's a small text, you see. Any questions about it? Discussion? Well, it's been well, moved and supported, and I think I'm going to have to withdraw that unless I allow some discussion first, Commissioner Forrest. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say this. This is going to sound strange. I, I'm not going to support the, the, uh, the this uh, partly because of what I just heard from the attorney, and the, uh, but I honestly believe that the that the work that at least the, the members of the board that I know relatively well and the board past that we've had that they earn the dollars that they make. They, I really believe that they they earn the money. Uh, for those that don't know, and many don't, is that, that I, I hold two jobs. And I compare my year-to-date at my other part-time job that I work at Arcelor Middle, and, uh, and my, my year-to-date from the county board. And right now, I've been paid so far this year $16,000 more at the mine than I have right there. <coughs> and I'll tell you what, I've never had my stomach churn at the mine. I've never had never rolled over in my bed tossing and turning because some truck that they had had a problem with it or anything like that. But I'll guarantee you that my stomach churns over issues that we have, 
Um, sometimes the calls in the middle of the night, and all of us have had them, and for the concerned citizen and trying to be that gentle person and try to understand, even though it's four o'clock in the morning, you, it, it does weigh on. But at the same time, I love the job as a county commissioner. I also love my other job. But when I looked at the at to this issue, <coughs> I've always been real nervous about uh, compensation. And I told Commissioner Rocker when we first broached the thought of trying to get an actual reimbursement for for the miles that we put on, I said that I, with, with some qualification, would say yes. But right now, that's not the case. What we have in front of us is basically we looked at what all of the commissioners in aggregate put on per year, and then we averaged them out. We took what the American Automobile Association, not we, the, 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 uh, the, our administration had put this together at the request of the board. And ultimately, what we did was we averaged all seven commissioners for a compensation, which would, and, and the only way that it could be done, as I understand it from the attorney, is with a salary increase. That's a roughly a $4,400 increase per year. Uh, it does cost you that much to drive your cars if you put on those kind of miles. And I'll just say that there is a huge discrepancy, be, difference, not discrepancy, there's a huge difference between commissioners as to the miles that they put on uh, and I'll and I'll <laughs> I put on probably the most but I also represent one of the largest districts in the United States I also have a county seat that is at the far north uh, or southeast portion of the county which is unusual in county so it's a 222 mile round trip just to go to a county board meeting. Typically, all of you got to experience it today, and I appreciate it very much. Uh, uh, so, I, I'm not going to be supportive of this because now it has just become, a, it has basically evolved to not being compensated for mileage and the driving that we do. We are now being, trying to make a, a broad picture that basically just Simply put, just takes and raises the salary so that the average commissioner is going to be paid for his mileage. And it isn't, it does not have that direct correlation in my mind to the mileage as Commissioner Rocker and I originally first started talking about. So, with that, um, all of that explanation, I would just say thank you for the, the attempt, but it just doesn't quite work under, under statute, and we do have the statutes in front of us. So. Before I withdraw the motion. Thank you, Chair Commissioner Rocker. Um, having moved this for discussion, I have to tell you that, that, that you know this is one of those products that really doesn't resemble what we originally started to talk about. And and one of my biggest concerns, and I, and I note that our intergovernmental relations person is in the room, but one of my biggest concerns is, um, you know, in his roles and responsibilities for the for the County of St. Louis, um, we are sending him down to the state legislature and part of the part of the responsibility that he has down there is is uh, is our as our legislative spokesperson and 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 as such uh, not only works during the course of their business day but also works uh, throughout the evening and it might be a morning breakfast it might be a it, it, it may even be attendance uh, where where he has an opportunity to talk to a certain legislator that he can't get otherwise at, at a at a special event, um, and and all of a sudden um, we we we're still not able to accommodate that. That concerns me greatly, and I, I hope that we have an opportunity to review uh, that and and be able to address it because this, to me, as we started this off, there there was there was a number of concerns, and that was one of my biggest. Yes, sir. Thank you. I got to tell you, I read this yesterday and did some research on it, and I did pass out the statute that allows for mileage for mileage allowances. There, the statute does say that, that there's a reimbursement rate for which you can have, and we get to set that. But it also says in paragraph 3 that allowances, as, as defined in this particular thing, is illegal. It says that the uh, members of the governing board or the town board uh, can have a mileage allowance except, as otherwise noted in the chapter, it says, but no allowance in lieu of mileage shall be paid to the members of the, of the governing body. So what I think happened here 
is I think we mixed two different statutes and tried to come up with an issue here. You want to raise your salary in order to, to compensate for what you think is an underestimation of, uh, of this. Raise your salary. But don't, don't tie it to anything. If you want to, uh, if, and, and again, I was not in that discussion, so I can pretty much be pretty raw here. If you want to raise your salary, raise your salary. If you want to use this as support for raising your salary, that's fine. But it, you can't tie it to that particular statute. Okay, I guess attorney Ford and then. Uh, I just have one more comment that 